How to improve your empathetic listening. In this video, I'll cover why listening with empathy is important, what we mean by empathetic listening, and how to listen with empathy. Mostly people don't listen. They just take it in turns to speak. The listening they do is to spot the gap in the conversation so that they can deliver their piece of information. Good communications starts with listening. And that's why it is so, so important. Stephen Covey, in his Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, spoke about seek first to understand and then to be understood. The key message is, if you want your communications to be really good, listen more and talk a lot less. When experts look at listening, they say that 25% of listening efficiency. The big warning is, I am not listening. Taken from the recommended book, Emotional Intelligence Coaching, and how do you move from the listeners focused on themselves to the point where the listener is focused on the other person? It starts off with just hearing words. Hear words, but don't take them in. So many things on your, our minds, a non-listening experience. Then there's the me too. We think about how the conversation relates to us. We think of experiences that match and consciously or unconsciously we switch the focus to us. Here's what I would do. Starting to move a little bit more towards the listener. Starting to pay attention to the other person. Might respond by offering information or advice. More aware of the other person's need. Emotional listening, a big shift in listening skills, gives real space and time to the speaker, in, encourages to expand on thinking and exploring, focus on thoughts and feelings, listening beyond the words, an intuitive listening, fully in tune with our emotional brain, listening at a deep level with our whole bodies, not just our ears. It becomes effortless to listen. So that is the level that you would want to go to when particularly when you're actually helping somebody uh, to deal with issues uh, when you're in real coaching mode we need to overcome our barriers to good listening taken from the same book there are 21 that are listed so if you just have a look at it in your book but just think of the things that distract you stop you from listening and so often it's because you're busy. You've got so many things on your mind. And it's, it's really hard to sort of get into this neutral mode, shut down all the sort of things that are bugging you and actually really give the attention to the other person. But start by just listing what your distractions are. Right. These are the steps on how to listen um, emotion to, to the emotional signs and stuff that you get from the other person. So this is empathetic listening. So if you're going to meet up with something, one of the key things is get prepared. Don't take listening for granted. Plan your coaching conversations in advance. Prepare your environment to support easy listening. So if you happen to be in an office and you face onto the corridor with people going by, sit the other side so that you don't actually see any distractions. If you've got blinds, shut the blinds. If you can book a meeting room which doesn't actually have any distractions, do so. If you feel that you're better off maybe going for a walk together somewhere out of the office where there aren't people sort of coming up and wanting to ask you questions, do so. So prepare the environment. Show that you're listening. Maintain good eye contact. Show expressions. Nod and say words of encouragement, ask questions of clarification, summarize back to your coachee. So you are showing to your coachee that you are genuinely listening. Manage your emotions. Now get yourself into neutral mode when listening. If you feel your emotions rising, then control them through calm breathing. And if you can't control them, perhaps bring the discussion to an end. Uh, because if you let your emotions rise, you will not be hearing properly and some of your behavior and your speech and your body language could destroy uh, maybe the good work you've already done with your coachee. So watch your body language. Don't interrupt. Overcome your temptation to add your views to the conversation. 
you silence to draw out the views of your coachee. Watch your body language to make sure that that doesn't interrupt. Listen to the tone. Tone contributes 28% of the communicated message, so it's very important. Match the words you hear to the tone used by your coachee. So if they say they're enthusiastic about going down a particular route and it doesn't sound like that in their voice, then question it. Question why there is any mismatch. So tone, so this is about really getting into the zone where you're listening to the words and listening to the tone. And now watching the body language. Body language contributes 55% to the communicative message. So it is very important. Match the words to the body language. Detect what is not being said. And ask the questions to understand why. So you can see how you get into the zone, listen to the tone, listen to the words, listen, watch the body language. Is the whole thing joining up? Or are there sort of gaps? Ask the questions. Provide feedback. Defer feedback until your coachee has shared sufficient information. Make sure you've clarified any points you're unsure of. Then probe into areas that need to be drilled down deeper. Be critical yet supportive when giving feedback. Show you have listened to the full conversation when giving feedback. Make sure your coachee has taken on board the feedback you have given them. So that's all part of the listening experience. Summed up, get prepared, show you're listening, manage your emotions, don't interrupt, listen to tone and body language and provide feedback. And that is what will make empathetic listening work. So in summary, empathetic listening is at the core of great coaching. It's not easy to do, as the barriers are many. Yet once mastered, it is a skill that can truly transform your work in your life. It's a skill that you can use in almost any interaction you have with other people. Because people are open up and give of themselves if they feel the person opposite them is taking a genuine interest in them. And that's what empathetic listening is all about. Thank you.